What's up everybody, it's Luke here, and today I'm gonna review with you guys this Lego pneumatic tow truck. This thing is super duper cool, I just got it. It was only $149 on Amazon, and I'm gonna tell you by the end of this video, you will think that is a screaming deal. Now, it's 2017 pieces, it's a big box, and it's really heavy. It comes with so many bags that you actually just kinda can't even get your bearings when you first get started. There's about three or four bags for each number, and and I think it's numbered one through six. The manual is about the size of a giant novel and uh, there are quite a few parts. So let's go ahead and open things up and get started. I will be honest, we all took turns opening this and putting it together because it was just so much that someone would work for three or four hours and just tired, your eyes would be tired. It is definitely a big build. For $149, you're not gonna find a better kit. This thing has so many small parts, so many moving things. It teaches so many things about physics, mechanics, and other different things. This model is great for an adult too. It honestly took me three days to put together, even with everyone's help. Now, there are differentials in the back end of the tow truck, and this is going to run a drive shaft that runs all the way up front to a motor. There is this mechanism here, which is going to raise and lower the third axle, like a triaxle on a real dump truck. Uh, this is actually a pretty neat feature. Now, all the way up, this thing is built with crazy structural integrity in mind. It's a big model, and when you're done, it's very heavy, so everything is beefed up like to the max with it. This worm gear unit on the top is actually going to be used to rotate the boom on the back of the tow truck. The tow truck has just tons of moving features. You're going to see there's over 10 controls when we get all done with it. After putting together the third axle mechanism, you can see how it raises and lowers it. On the back side of the model, you can see these two actuators. There are actually two more on the sides, and they're all going to be linked with drive shafts because there are four outriggers that are all going to level this machine at the exact same time. And this is a really neat feature that I am super impressed about and impressed with the builders at LEGO and engineers for creating something this advanced. So this is the model with most of the central frame assembled. We're going to go ahead now and route some of the pneumatic tubing and get some of the pneumatics connected, as well as add some additional pieces for support on the pneumatic system. The piece you're seeing here is the tow bar for the back of the tow truck, and I'm gonna put this long skinny pneumatic cylinder on here. This will actuate the tow bar up and down to lift or lower a vehicle. Again, this is a pretty long build and we're about four hours this model will provide a great challenge to youngsters and extend their abilities when it comes to Lego Technic. Now that I have the control knob attached to the side, you can see how synchronously all of these drive shafts move to raise and lower the actuators for the outriggers. Again, just super cool engineering by Lego. We're gonna go ahead and mount the tow bar into the back of the tow truck. The actuators are then going to connect to the sides and this will be what raises and lowers the tow bar as well. Here you can see the mechanical actuators will be separate from the pneumatic actuator that actually lifts and raises the physical tow bar out at the very end where the vehicle is. The tow bar also swivels left and right. And the attention to detail on this entire model is actually really impressive. Next, let's go ahead and assemble the sides of the tow truck. These are gonna be used for stability, but also for the guide rods that have the little gears on them that actuate all the different mechanisms in the tow truck. There are plenty of stickers and other decals on the model that make it look great. Honestly, this thing is so complex. Building it has been super fun, and it's definitely a model worth buying. Next, we're gonna begin routing our pneumatic hoses through the model and hooking them up. There's quite a variety and array of these hoses throughout the entire model, so we'll be running these up through the top boom, back through the wheel lift assembly, and all over the entire model. Next, we're gonna be installing and assembling our pneumatic pump with the valves. This installs right into the model as a modular assembly. The core of the main chassis is now assembled and it's starting to come together really nicely. All the functions are working the way they should and I look forward to building the rest of this. I'm too excited to wait so I have to try the pneumatic pump and raise and lower the wheel lift in the back of the tow truck. 
The next step in the process is to assemble the pivot point where the boom is going to go on the top of the tow truck. We also have the engine that is going to be inserted in the front. We're also starting to build the cab of the truck and it's looking really cool with the seats, doors, steering wheel and all of the details in this model. There's a shaft that comes up through the top of the cab that allows you to steer the front wheels. The engine assembly is pretty cool and when the back wheels rotate it actually drives the drive shaft that makes the pistons move. There's also these really cool fuel tanks that are going to mount on the side of the truck. The way these were designed was very clever with these round wheel hubs in place. The tanks look really professional and once the wheels are installed this tow truck looks awesome. To cover the front end of the truck is a hood assembly that's actually going to raise and lower like a real semi. This is pretty neat. Overall, the build's coming together really well. It's taking quite a while, but I am really proud of this model. It's very dense and has a lot of parts in it. There's a lot of moving mechanisms, and for the money, I have never seen a model this high quality. One of the last steps in the process is to assemble the boom supports as well as the pneumatic cylinder for the upper boom. Like we talked about before, the boom will rotate via this knob on the side of the tow truck. The boom is very detailed, includes two wenches, and the cool part about it is it's actually telescoping at the end. I love the hooks and the orange safety guards they put on the end of the cables. If you like Technic, you're going to love this tow truck. With all the different functions, switches, assemblies, pumps, it's really a ton of fun to play with. I actually added some extra chains to the back to make it look like a tow truck, and I am loving these outriggers that simultaneously come down to touch all four points on the ground. I find myself often using my tow truck to pick things up around the house or to tow little cars. It's just so much fun to play with. I can't leave it alone. Using the pneumatics to raise and lower the boom is just so much fun. The boom also telescopes, which is a super cool feature. If you're looking for an awesome gift this season, this is really one of the best things I've seen from LEGO recently. For the detail that goes into this model and the price point it's at, I can't even imagine not having purchased it. It's definitely the best model on the market for the price, and LEGO did an incredible job with the engineering. Thanks for tuning in to my review of the LEGO Technic tow truck. If you guys have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave those below, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks again for watching. Can't wait to see you on the next review.